episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the newest trailer for the for a DLC character coming to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which is the Monster Hunter. Yes. Now, for those who've played, who have already played uh, Monster Hunter Infinite and played your story mode, you'll know who it is. It's a uh, next to Black Panther rules Valkanda. Yeah. Pretty much a merging of. A monster hunter uh, region and Wakanda, pretty much, and she's the one who helps Black Panther protect it. Yeah. From the looks of it, they. Okay. The problem with story was they don't really establish that shit. Yeah. Um. Anyways, um. Uh, this is one of six DLC characters coming. Um. There have been rumors about it and everything, but recently they have confirmed the six, which we already know Sigma and Black Panther. Mm -hmm. They've also confirmed uh, Winter Soldier. Black, uh, Black Widow, Venom, and Monster Hunter. Hmm. Now, if you count that, there's only one Capcom... Wait, let's see. There's two Capcom characters, and the rest are Marvel. So you, you can tell they never really... They didn't really balance it out right for the downloadable characters. It's like, for something I like mean, this, you need to balance I it mean, out. I mean, since they're trying, to, they're trying to make this a new franchise and yeah, stuff, there will probably be another season pass down the road. But as of right now, that's what we get for our six. This is the first trailer for one of the six DLC characters. Yes, yes. And there's still no confirmation, though they have confirmed all six DLC characters will be out by the end of this year. Wow. That's just, it's very interesting, because like I said, NetherRealm, like, luckily with each fighter pack they're releasing, it's like they pretty much, they, bound, they have it very well balanced of the characters. Mm -hmm. Here, it doesn't seem like they have a balance, per, you know, just right for yeah. what needs to be set up like that. So let's just dive right onto this and take a look at this for the Monster Hunter trailer for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Again, like you said, one of the first um, of six, of six uh, downloadable characters. So here we go. <laughs> Wow, the armor on that! Oh, wow, she has strong, solid armor. Wow. What the? Shows a quick swing move. Wow, that was very impressive. Okay. Very, very impressive overall. I think. Damn. Okay. She so she has. She has two different weapons she uses, well, three different. She uses the um, these smaller, like, dagger, some big dagger-looking things. That's what it looks as like. As more as, like, quick strikes. And then she has the giant one for, like, the heavy attacks. She has the giant one for heavy attacks, and then she has the bow for long-range stuff. Yeah. Um, wow, she, holy crap, that's very impressive. Yeah, and she is. has that armor, you saw all the damage she oh, took yeah. before actually striking. I gotta see how broken or how not broken that is, how that works exactly. Cause that is just ridiculous. That is insane. Yeah. And I like her finisher. She just knocks you into the air, shoots an arrow up, drops a barrel, you land, the arrow lands on the barrel, explodes, blows you up. Yeah. I gotta admit, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed I'm with that. I'm sad. Way. She actually does have, I believe she does actually have a name, but they're just calling her Monster Hunter. It's just weird. You think they give it a name? It's fine, but it's cool to finally get a trailer to one of these DLC characters. Yeah, that's true. At least they've been them. teasing them since E3, pretty much, with Sigma and Black Panther. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see more of what she can do and stuff. Overall, I'm very impressed. Me too. I'm very impressed. I still won't mind playing the game overall. I'm not going to get it. I officially can say I'm not going to get it, but I wouldn't still mind playing the game overall. I definitely wouldn't mind trying her out. Yeah, same here. I mean, it seems yeah. interesting, so... Yeah, it's, it seems it seems like, like I said, just the way they're going with this game, I think 
they're going to be taking, they're, they're going to hopefully get a lot of criticism, hopefully take that criticism uh, criticism into yeah. the next game. Because I, I, I've heard a lot of a lot of mixed stuff, but not good mixed stuff, you know? Yeah, the biggest faults um, from her are the visual style yeah. and the story mode. The story mode overall, yeah, it's just the gameplay. I've heard is is good. It's, it's still solid. Good. It's still solid. it's still solid. It's but just, it's just the visual. A lot of people's complaints are the visual style and the story mode. The story mode, because yeah, story they see, mode is very. They, what they're starting to notice is that look what Nether Rope's doing, and they're succeeding. It's the story mode. But the only problem is, they need a solid, much more solid good story compared to what. Nether Realm has. They have a good solid story. Even with the first Injustice game and then the second one, another yeah. good solid. It's like they have good writers. That's what they need, they need to have. They need to have some good writers and have have it make sense of why they're joining together, you know, stuff like that, you know? And that's why I said I've never owned the game. But like I said, for those who get it, yeah, go right ahead, have fun. But, you know, you probably enjoy more of like, the, you know, the fighting and stuff like that. But, you know, I've been hearing a lot of disappointments with the story pretty much. And I just hope. You know, like except for the game sake, I really do hope they do improve and learn from their mistakes into the you know into the next mm -hmm. one after this. If they're trying to start, like you said, trying up a start up a franchise with the story and stuff like that. I hope they do learn from this, their mistakes and hope they improve on the writing in the next one. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, pretty much, I agree yeah. through a whole Harley and that I've I've checked out the story mode. And it's not very good. So. Yeah. Uh, other than that, though, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about DLC characters, hit the subscribe button down below or at the end of this video. Again, this let us know what your thoughts are on this character or what things that you actually liked from the game. I mean, like I said, everybody has their own opinions and stuff like that. But right now, everybody's opinions are coming out pretty much. And we've been, we've been hearing a lot of them. Lately, online from people we watch, you know, people I watch, he watches, stuff like that. Um, but like I said, put your do your comments down, what you th thought of the story or the visuals, stuff like that. And is there anything else that maybe you didn't like that maybe, you know, we didn't mention or we, we were not aware of or anybody's unaware of about, you know, maybe there's certain things that you notice. You know, comment down below, let us know what you think. Um, definitely comment down on, you know, what you thought of our, of our reaction. And of course, thank you for watching our reaction. Yeah, so until next time, I'm Christopher. I'm Christopher. And that was a very NBC filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.